What's up Safari Nation and welcome back to yet again another Did You Know Thursday. In today's video we are going to be discussing the differences between horns and antlers and what they're all about. clients out on safari noting how big that kudu or elan's antlers are and that usually opens up the discussion of the differences between horns and antlers. Let's start with horns. Horns are present in African antelope species such as kudu, impala, elant and oryx. Any antelope that grows horns has a pair of them growing from the top of their head and these horns are actually present from birth although when they are born these horns aren't actually attached to the skull. It's merely a piece of cartilage that's under the skin and that's loosely fitted making the birth process a lot easier and in this stage the horns are known as ossicones. As the baby antelope grows the ossicones start to fuse to the actual skull and start pushing through the skin and at this stage forms an actual horn. Horns are permanent and they do grow continually and they're also unbranched. Horns have a bony core and is surrounded by a layer of keratin which is basically the same substance as our hair and our nails. If an antelope breaks its horn off in a fight for example unfortunately that horn won't regrow because of that bony center essentially turning it into a unicorn. Now let's look at antlers. Antlers are present in animals such as deer, elk and moose and like horns they also grow in a pair on top of the head. But instead of having antlers from birth, animals that do grow antlers only grow them from a slightly more mature age and they are not permanent. Antlers are grown annually and the animal sheds its antlers at the end of each summer breeding season only to regrow those antlers during the following breeding season. And another key difference between horns and antlers are that antlers are branched whereas horns are only a single set coming out of the head. Antlers do have a bony core but instead of having a solid keratin layer surrounding the outside they grow a furry skin known as velvet to cover the actual bone. And unlike horns a broken antler isn't permanent. I'll link my video notes in the description below which contains the comparison table, all these facts that we were talking about as well as some photos so feel free to go give that a download and use that as you please. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more Did You Know Thursday episodes feel free to click up on the side and make sure that you smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future episodes. But for now have a great day, enjoy the rest of your week and then I will catch you in the next video. Cheers!